Recently in the truck industry, the Ford Bronco has been getting a whole lot of attention. People have been dying to see what Ford comes up with for the new 2021 Bronco after Chevrolet kinda sorta made people a little bit mad with the new Blazer. But the Ford Bronco isn't just receiving the spotlight now because of the new truck. These things have been turning heads since the 1960s. I'm Fuller from Custom Offsets and today we're finding out what's the hype with the Ford Bronco. Kicking it back to 1966, Ford unveiled the Bronco, which sat on a completely new chassis independent from any other Ford or Lincoln product. This was Ford's answer to the off-road community that needed something to compete with the CJ5 and the Scouts of the time. It wasn't long after the release that Ford knew that the straight six wasn't going to cut it and started offering a 289 V8, which was later updated to the famous 302. Early Broncos were offered in two-door wagons, even though they don't really look like a wagon, a half-cab pickup, and the ever-popular open-body Roadster, which to me seems a little bit strange to call a truck a Roadster, but it's got two doors and the top comes off, so I guess that makes it a Roadster. It's no surprise that since the lead guy behind the Bronco was the same as the guy behind the Mustang, the Bronco was instantly entered into the motorsports racing world and took on some historic races that have been around for over 50 years. In the 60s and 70s, Broncos were out dominating the Mint 400, the Baja 500, and the then Mexican 1000, which you all know and love as the Baja 1000 these days. But what was it about the Bronco that drew people in for the next five generations of the truck? That's 30 years of top off, sun shining, four wheel drive fun before it was discontinued. But to this day, the Bronco is still a sought after vehicle. People loved how modifiable the truck became. Ford offered tons of factory upgrades and special packages throughout the years, but of course, the diehard guys would always modify them to be their own. Bullet hole wheels, aggressive tires, and quite frankly, I'm pretty sure every single one of them had a super lift lift kit on it. Off-roaders loved the short wheelbase, and people just loved how they looked lifted, of course. Now, people are still building these things. You've got resto mods, classic rebuilds, full-blown off-roaders, and even <coughs> You know, it really pains me to say this, but uh, the mall crawlers. All jokes aside, I'm gonna pick on Jared a little bit because, well, I can. He's a coworker who set out to make the internet mad with his last generation Bronco. That's, you guessed it, it's running a super lift lift kit and 26 by 14s and rubber band tires. But you know what? That truck has actually grown on me. And I'm seeing an increase of people making some sick show builds out of both the classic examples and the more modern 90s trucks too. And yeah, I keep calling it a truck even though technically it's an SUV, but it's body on frame, so I'm just gonna keep saying truck. Now, very recently actually, Ford has announced that they will be giving us the sixth gen Bronco. Probably not till 2021. And if you're watching this after the Bronco is officially out or it's like 2028 and somehow this video is still relevant, Hello, and welcome to the past. In 2016, Ford let it slip that the Bronco name was returning. Really crappy video games on the Wii. Do you remember those? I remember those. My mom wouldn't get me the, uh, the, the PlayStation I wanted. Yeah. Avocado! Uh, anyway, really crappy video games that had renders of the trucks and more and more concept vehicles made their way onto the internet, but they were like all different. None of them looked anywhere near the same. Some looked like Raptors, some looked like Jeeps, some looked like more retro style, and then of course there were leaked photos and drawings of the new Broncos that looked like, well, just, just not good. But then some photos surfaced that gave us a little bit of hope that the truck might still be a truck and tie into its heritage a bit. But for now, at least when I film this, we have zero confirmation from Ford as to what it will look like for real. Uh, I saw Ford drop a video on the Bronco R and let me tell you, if the production model looks anything like that, I'm selling my car, I'm selling my truck, and I'm buying one. And I need you guys to hold me to that. So what's better? The old Bronco or the new one? And will the new ones live up to the hype that the past ones brought? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you work for Ford, I'm sorry if I said anything that made you mad, but if you want to give me a new truck, I will take one and it'll be awesome. I promise you, it'll be great. You'll love it. Peace.